Greetings and salutations everyone. Hi there, I'm Mark Absalon and welcome to this edition of Mark Absalon's Video Tips and Tricks. In this edition of uh, Video Tips and Tricks, we're going to be discussing Vegas Pro 9 and the capture video feature within Vegas. But before we get started on this, let me talk about a contest. We're doing a subscriber-based contest. Every 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away five fabulous prizes to five randomly drawn subscribers. We're also giving a cool prize away to one randomly drawn commenter on one of my videos. And we're also giving away a cool prize to one of my MySpace friends that would be drawn at random too. So there are three ways to enter. It's uh, subscribe to my channel, comment on my videos, and add me as a friend on MySpace. And if you wanna know what the prizes are, you can click this video right over here and it'll take you to it and you can find out what we're giving away this time. Also go over to markapsalon.com and check out my tutorial DVDs. If you wanna learn more about video production, uh, these are definitely a way to go. You will be overwhelmed with the video knowledge, including lighting, chroma key, everything you need to know. It's full on stuff and you'll learn a lot from it to help your videos on YouTube or off of YouTube or your filmmaking skills. Well guys, we're going to be discussing the capture feature here in Vegas Pro 9. Not to be confused with Vegas Movie Studio 9 or Vegas Movie Studio Platinum Edition, which are not the same. Vegas will actually capture a multitude of different formats. It will capture mini DV, HDV, DVD, camcorder disc, uh, hard drive recorders, um, uh, memory recorders, XD cam, it'll do all of those and that is really great. The only thing that um, it doesn't do is P2 support. Uh, I wish they would do that. Uh, by the way, if the guys at Sony Vegas are listening to this, the guys at Madison, uh, P2 support guys, come on, it's about time. We need P2 support in Vegas. It would make it so much easier for editors like myself. Well, starting out, guys, let's go up to File, and we'll click File and New, and we want to make this template NTSC DV 24 frames a second widescreen, and we'll click OK on that, because we're going to be dealing with mini DV footage on this. And in Vegas, the capture feature is available in two different areas at default. I've got it in three in mine, and I'll show you here in a second how to do that. But the first one is under File, you'll see Video, uh, uh, Capture Video. And then under Import, you'll see DVD Cam Quarter Disk Import, Hard Drive Disk Unit Import, which would be a hard drive camera, and your Memory Recording Unit, which is a, uh, a card-based uh, unit that you can hook up to some of the higher-end cameras. Uh, also, it's located under Project Media, you'll see the Capture Video button. Now on mine on the toolbar, you'll see I have capture video and I also have the uh, DVD camcorder import disc up there. That's not standard, like I said. If you want to add that, which I highly recommend you do, go to Options, uh, Customize Toolbar. And let me move this over here so you can actually see it. And you'll see these available toolbar buttons. And you'll go down and you'll see capture video. Just click on it and add and close. And it'll be up there for you. So it's something good and you might want to consider to Put this on your toolbar so you'll have it. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to hook up your camcorder to your computer via FireWire. Vegas will do some USB stuff but I recommend FireWire more than anything because sometimes with the USB it has some issues so FireWire is the best way to go on this. So go ahead and hook it up on FireWire and turn your camcorder on and place it on uh, either tape or VCR and this is going to be on the mini DV camcorders and also the HDV camcorders that are tape based. Once you have that done you'll see autoplay come up and this is Windows auto detecting it and we just want to close that because we're going to do all the capturing and the capture utility here on Vegas Pro. So we'll click that and about a little thing will come up here, a little window, they'll say uh, DV or HDV or SDI because it'll also do a card too if, if you wanted to do it that way. It's just more high-end professional stuff. But right now we're going to be doing a DV. So make sure that it's clicked on DV and OK. And your capture window will open up. Now it'll ask you to verify the tape name. We're going to call this Vegas Capture 001. And we're going to set this at do not capture any clips right now. So we'll click OK on that. If that doesn't come up, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to video and select 
Microsoft DV camcorder and VCR and when you do that the device will connect and everything should be working fine for you so just uh, if the screen doesn't come up and it doesn't say anything up there then go up to video and do that and it should connect now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to options and preferences and go over to disk management now disk management is where your file is going to be captured to we already have a source set up here and you want to make sure that you have at least three three to five percent uh, free space before you do that um, you might want to have one or two different areas where you capture because let's say you run out of space on this and you get another hard drive you can uh, click the path on that by adding the folder like so and having both paths clicked and so if you run out of space on this drive it'll just jump over to this drive and seamlessly integrate so that's a good way to go and you can also delete these and move them up and down and whatever you want to do and in your workspace so these these are different things that you need to to actually look at for your overflow and whatnot but I'm not really gonna go into those on this we'll click OK on that and now we're at the main window now in Vegas uh, video capture tool you can capture manually you can capture by uh, capturing the entire tape you can capture by time code you can batch capture you can do all of those features now manual is kinda difficult and tedious and that's pretty much where you'll use your play your pause and your rewind and stuff and get to the scene that you want to and then capture the video it's a little difficult not something that I'd recommend now you can also capture the entire tape uh, by capturing the entire tape if we were to click this it would rewind it all the way to the beginning and capture it from the very first of the time code to the very end of the time code and um, it's something that you probably will use sometimes it depends on if you've got your time code logged now I've been talking about time code time codes on the tape time code is where you started recording because the way that um, HDV and also mini DV record is every time you press that pause button it splits the scene so you have different clips and you can log your time code as to when you started a new scene so that you can go in and quote batch capture and getting to batch capture is on advanced capture and you'll see the clip name the tape name you can comment rate it whatever your time code in like let's say our time code is 000 and our time code out is actually let's see what we have here 2314 that's a length that we've got there and we want to click log in log out and we have that ready for batch capture and for the next one we would just uh, start it up let's say 38 uh, 13 is our next clip that we know is good all the way up to 57 11 and we'll log that in and to start batch capturing all you do is you click batch capture it'll go through the whole thing and capture those specific clips on the tape now batch capturing is ideal for filmmaking if you are shooting a film and you know you've got a really good take make sure to log your time code because logging your time code you don't have to go through the entire tape to find the good uh, cut and you can just capture that one cut and uh, bring that in and you know it's good and you can edit so that's what I really like about batch capturing with, uh, video is based on the fact that you can do stuff like that the only downfall of it is you have to log your time code and you have to have a good time code I recommend using a new tape for each recording if you're gonna use an old tape go ahead and tape over it uh, to uh, you know make the time code all make sense and uh, keep your lens cap on and that way it'll blank it out for you but I don't really recommend doing that just use a, a new tape because the new tapes are pretty inexpensive and it makes it a lot easier so that's batch capture in the advanced feature now going over to this feature which is print to tape this is where you take a file and you put it back on tape as a hard copy and you'll do that by clicking add files we'll go down here take this little clip we did earlier and uh, we've got it and we just cue device and um, we're good to go to put it back on so that's that's the cool thing about print to tape 
Now getting back to the actual capture, all the features that you see here like capture, capture tape, they're all up here too where you can do it that way. It makes it a lot easier when they lay it out this way. So th that's the basic overall view of uh, mini DV capturing in Vegas. Let's close this out. We don't want to save that. And let's click it again. And we want to change this to HDV or SDI. So we'll click that and click OK. Now your capture looks a little different. Now you can't. I don't have an HDV camera to show you this. Mine has had some issues and it's currently being repaired at the moment of this video. But it's basically the same as the other capture. You don't have a. I, you don't have like batch capturing on this which kind of stinks but you can capture the entire tape and edit that way and throw out the clips that you want but basically HDV and the SDI capture are the same as the uh, mini DV capture on the other tools so that's what I kind of wanted to show you really quick here too also if we go up to import we'll see the DVD camcorder disc. Now if you click this, sometimes the source will show up. And you can browse to find your uh, camcorder if you have it hooked up. Or you can uh, insert a disc into the, uh, into the actual uh, DVD ROM drive and do it that way. And once you click OK and you've got your destination down as to where you want this to go, what will happen is it will take the two files that DVD does and split up the split into audio and video and combine it together so that you have those files to edit in an MPEG-2 format on Vegas Pro. So that's the way that the DVD camcorder disc works. Uh, the other two that we have are the hard drive which is basically the same. Um, you really don't want to edit straight from your hard drive. I really recommend taking your hard drive data or anything off of a card and putting it on your hard drive on your computer. It makes it a lot easier, especially if you're using uh, um, AVC HD, which is a really compressed uh, codec. So just uh, make sure to take it from the actual source and put it on your hard drive. It'll make it a lot easier in editing. And it's the same way with it's the same way with the memory recording unit. This is a higher end thing. They make it for some of the Sony camcorders where you can record on a, a flash media. So it's just pretty much the same outlook as to how it goes. Now once you've got it all in your uh, in brought into your uh, video like for instance if we go back up here and we import our files using the advanced capture which I'm not going to do let's go ahead and we'll just capture a little bit of video here just manually so that we have it and once you've actually captured your video on this and you click stop what will happen is you'll get the capture completion the number of clips the frames dropped if you've got a lot of dropped frames I would try the capture again if you're continuously getting it go ahead and take a lot of stuff off your hard drive as much stuff as you can and do a defragment uh, defragmenting of your hard drive and that'll probably take care of the drop frame rate um, but it's got it all, the frame rate and etc. And you just click done, it brings it in. You can save the default, I'm not going to. And you click exit, and it's right there in your media bin to be edited. That's, that's the, the really cool thing about bringing all your video in is it goes straight into your media bin, so it's ready to go. And lastly, there are two different ways to bring in XD cam footage into Vegas Pro 9. One is for the solid state stuff and the other one's for the disc. The first one uh, for the solid state is pretty much for the EX1 and the EX3. You can also bring in uh, AVC HD files through your AVC HD camera too this way. Uh, you go up to view, you'll click device explorer and your device will open and there's nothing connected at the moment but over here on the side you would have your camera your EX1 or your EX3 or your ABC HD camera and then over here once you click the the, um, the actual drive that you want because they have two different drives the EX1 and the EX2 
you'll see the different files on that and you can select them and import them into your media bin and um, use them on your timeline for your project. So like I said, this is pretty much for the solid state, the EX1, the EX2 stuff. It integrates really well and works very well. If you're using XD cam footage from a disk, you'll want to go to view the XD cam explorer, click on that and another window will open up and you can import the XD cam disk straight from your Blu-ray drive and uh, choose the files you want and etc. Now another cool feature about this too is if you're working on an XD cam project and you're exporting back out to XD cam, you can export onto an XD cam Blu-ray disk which is really cool for storage of your files and also to send to clients so that's another really cool thing about it also these windows too if you don't know or they're all dockable so if you use this feature a lot you can just dock the window up here so that you have it if you don't use it at all just keep it unviewed and you'll never see it again well guys I hope I've gone over all this uh, enough to where you'll understand what's going on like I said I don't want to make the video extremely long because it can be uh, can make, this could easily be a 45 minute video no problem at all but guys if you have any questions send me over an email I'll walk you through it and get you started to where everything will work correctly on this but importing video into Sony Vegas is a very critical thing for editing and I just wanted to show you different ways to do it here on the program well until the next episode of Mark Absalon's video tips and tricks uh, I'm going to move my cursor around in circles because I can't walk off the camera you guys have a cool and groovy day.